guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to be reviewing a dog bowl water fountain bowl water fountain bowl water fountain for dogs water fountain water bowl something like that I'm reviewing this water fountain water bowl for dogs that my husband bought because one we have two dogs so having just one water bowl which is what we have now it's not enough. We have to refill it all the time. Two, he thought it was really cool to have a water fountain in here for the dogs. And three, according to some research, dogs really, really like drinking from a flowing thing. Like, like the water fountain. So, we like to spoil our dogs. If that isn't obvious, that's what we like to do. So, today I'm going to be opening this up and putting it together. And we're gonna see how the dogs like it. I really think they're gonna love it. So let's just get right into it. I'm gonna change where you're at. Your two claws. Scorch. Oh gosh, this doesn't slide. I'm on my dog's bed. All right. Here's the box. Here in the kitchen where I currently am, this is where we keep our dogs during the day when we're not here. We don't put them in a crate, but we also don't let them roam free around the house. I did not dress my dog is that much. Okay, so this is from the brand Pet Safe, which is also the same brand of the dog, but it's the same brand as the dog collar that we first had on our dogs which was a bark collar citronella spray bark collar it worked great the one we specifically had kept breaking but we were using it a lot we were using it on a dog who barked a lot so i think it was worth it if you are interested in that i will have it linked below i'll also have it linked down to a blog post i wrote about the product in case you are interested here it is. It's really, it's not a big box, so I don't, I mean, I'm assuming they're kind of like stacked or something. We will see. This also works for kitty cats, so it's not just for doggies. In case you are here as a cat owner. Ah, all right. Cool. We've got some instructions. Who needs those? We've got something. Plug and a plug. Oh my goodness, it's already assembled and everything. Cool. I guess we do need the instructions because I don't I don't know. Remove the housing by pushing on both sides and lifting up. This piece here's the housing. Push on both sides. really hard if you hear that scratching that are that, that that would be my puppies trying to get out of the bedroom I don't want them here yet I want to surprise them with this okay on the back side of the lower bowl remove the card from the notch cord cord from the notch like this remove the pump from the square indentation Pull the cord up and out. So why did they even put it in here, honestly, if we have to take it out? We're literally taking it apart, so why didn't it just come apart? Take the pump apart by first removing the face plate. I'm assuming the blue is the face plate. Uh -huh. Remove the teardrop shaped stator by pulling up a small lip. Got it. As you're figuring out to pull out the impeller, which is held place by a magnet. Rinse all fountain components except for the adapter with warm water before using the pet fountain. This will remove any residue from the manufacturing process. Then reassemble the fountain. Okay, and reassemble it. 
Rinse the carbon filter and insert it into the housing with the back side facing the pump. Carbon filter. Rinse it. This feels wrong. Okay, before you put this on, you have to put the carbon filter in there. With the black side facing the pump. like so. Now we put this back. Voila! Pick up the fountain by the bowl and place it in a desired location. Pour water into the bowl and the housing. Leave a half inch of space between the water level and the rim of the bowl. Make sure electrical power cord, the adapter, and your hands are completely dry. Connect the inline plug and make sure no silver is showing. Plug it into the wall and blah 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 blah. I'm going to lower you down so you can see me do that. Hi. I'm going to be placing the bowl here. Okay, let's get some water. We can actually use some more water. That's fine. Now we need to plug it in. Let's get you a good view. Uh, look at that! <laughs> now we have to see what the dogs think of it. Let me go get them. Can hear it behind me. Do you like it? Callie drank from it. You little chicken boy didn't drink from it. Well, if anything happens to go wrong with it as time goes on, I will update down in the description in the comments. But as for right now, I like it and I think the dogs will like it. I will say it does make noise as you can tell. Other like a little more so than just the water dripping you kind of hear the motor but it's not bad so I really think it's just gonna be like a noise you'll hear in the background and just get used to it I think it's fine I'll also let you know if as time goes on we can't get used to that sound and it's too annoying I'll fill you in on that too but as of now I like it husband likes it and I'm pretty sure the dogs would both give it a thumbs up if they could well Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this and found it useful and informative. If you are interested in getting this, I will have it linked down in the description. And let me know if there's anything else like this or if there's a different product that you would like me to test out for you. I'd be more than happy to. A lot of you seem to like my indoor dog gate review video, so I decided since we were getting this, I was going to film a little review for you as well. Come here, come say goodbye to the people. Well, again, thank you so much for watching. Any questions or requests, please be sure to leave them down in the comments. I'll be sure to get back to you. If that's all, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.